Now, hi everybody, my name's Kim and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be having a look at transitioning my black and white 2D doodly into a live action plate. I think this is a really handy little thing to be able to do and it shows quite a lot of technical ability. It looks great, but it's a really simple trick. So come along with me on this little journey. For this video, I'm going to make the assumption that you've already done some of my other tutorials. You know how to take the color out of a out of an image with GIMP. You know how to doctor it so it's down to a nice black and white image. And you know how to get it into Doodly and add, add, draw some custom paths and spit it out. Um, as well as remember to give yourself some lead in and lead out of blank frames. So I'm going to presume that you guys already know all of that. And if you don't, I'll stick a link in the YouTube description of how to do it. But what I'm going to do now is take you into a fabulous free software, which is, it's amazing that you can get it free, called Resolve. Resolve is a editing software, um, and it does allow for a lot of things to happen within it. We're only going to be touching on such a little bit of it, which is great, but it gives you a pretty, it gives you a really good result for being able to then um, hold frames, edit frames and edit footage. This is my go-to software for uh, video editing. So start off with, we've got, I've got my project set up here and I've got my main window. Um, I've only only got two bits of footage which I'm using. For this, I've got my doodle, which is just my doodle which I've done. Boom, 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 there it goes. Draws it on, fabulous. And I've got my bit of video footage which I'm gonna use as well which is yay, very shaky and not that neat. Shot, not the, it's definitely not the best shooting of it because I didn't have a tripod when I captured it. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of uh, video footage editing on this as well. But this is in edit mode. You can see it down the bottom, which is what we're gonna be doing is editing. So let's start off by just bringing our doodly clip down into the timeline. Well, there we go. You can play it back and watch it go through. Beautiful. Now, it's really simple for what we're going to do here. I'm gonna then just drag in my second clip and I'm just gonna overlap. I need to find where my favorite still frame is because I got a bit of a lead in at the front which I didn't really want. So my start frame is look, just before it looks down there. Cut off all of that, and I'm gonna use my key backspace. If I use delete, it snaps it, um, and gets rid of all the frames and the timeline and moves everything further along. Sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't, but between delete and backspace, you can control what happens there. But also what I want at this is, I'm gonna use my arrow key to go in a frame, I'm gonna cut it again. I want this still frame that we've got to be able to use my magnifying glass in here. I only really want one frame. I need to still frame this so that it can be used underneath my doodly clip as a transition. So I'm just gonna right click on it and go change clip speed and inside the little option box that comes up is the option to go, it's a freeze frame. So that will then that will then hold this frame for me. So I'm gonna change it like that. Then I can drag this out. And now you can see it's a frozen frame. Fabulous. It's very handy. I'm gonna move this up one. The other thing I need to do with this is just unlink it and backspace the audio. Because I don't want audio in here. I'll bring that in later. But I'm just going to backspace the audio. Uh, bring that down. Can okay, now just select both of them, drag them across, and I'm probably going to want this as what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fade, going to tra just tra transition from one to the other with a fade. So it's not a very hard thing to do, but it does. It is very effective. So I'm just gonna line this up. How long have I got? I got like three, five seconds. What have we got? Mm, 
one, ten. About four seconds there. So I'm only really going to want it to happen over two seconds. So and I chop off once he finishes drawing. Going to have it hold for that. And then I'm going to want it to transition over a little bit of time. So I'm just going to chop the end off of that, backspace that, drag both of these underneath, drag this one a bit further out so that it go, runs equally over top of each other. So my two clips I've got there are running over top of each other. And inside this little handle at the end is like an opacity handle. I can drag that out. And you can see that it starts going transparent. So as we drag it across, it goes transparent. Now, as you can see, it doesn't quite line up perfectly yet. So there's something I'm going to have to do with the clip. There's a couple of things I've got to do with this clip. So to get these to line up, I need to go to my inspector and I'm going to just change a couple of my parameters in here. So this is the parameters we can then edit and keyframe during this time. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, 1.2. Just using, I, I just use this one just cause I like it. But then just using my mouse button, I can move up and down and just see. I'll be trying to line up, I mean the most obvious thing to line up here is the top of the rock with the rock in the background. So I'll just use my position buttons for this bottom clip. and just move it a little bit left and right until the lines line up. Since this is actually a, a frozen frame, it's gonna be still. And since the doodle at the end is, is a frozen frame, the transition works. I can then copy the, um, copy what I've done from here. So I uh, copy my inputs 1.04 into the next one. Just input them two and six. And that should technically be exactly the same spot. But of course, I've got my camera which also moves in this clip horribly. All right, let's go back to seeing what that looks like. Just hit spacebar on my keyboard and off we go. And there we have it, a transition from a 2D doodly to a live plate background. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed this tutorial. I've in, I enjoy going between live plates and 2D. It's a challenge and exciting variation and application of creativity. So if you like this, please leave a comment down below. Um, like, share, subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your day.